What brands or companies are actually evil? Chiquita Banana Company have allegedly been involved in the deaths of trade unionists and threats to their families. Weren't they responsible for overthrowing the government of Honduras and replacing the government with a dictatorship? Hence the term, Banana Republic. Luxotica. This is one company that runs a monopoly on 80% of glasses in the USA. They also own the eyeglasses stores and the insurance companies and eye doctor chains. Ever wondered why glass and a bit of plastic costs as much as a smartphone? Not only do they own the major brands, they own the optical stores that sell those brands. A few products are made in Europe but most are made in China. I read that their premium glasses cost $15 to make in retail for $400. At one point they refused to stock Oakley. Oakley went bankrupt. Then they bought it. Pure evil. Purdue Pharmaceuticals Single-handedly started the opioid epidemic by marketing OxyContin as non-addictive and helpful. Edited for spelling. As a graduate from Purdue University, I do want to mention that the university has nothing to do with the company. They both just happen to be founded by guys with the last name of Purdue. Unilever. One of their plants leaked mercury in a forest. Many workers suffered kidney problems. They shut down the plant and moved on while locals are still suffering from the all effects of mercury dumping. Edit. Spelling. Edit 2. More spellings and the case was codecanal mercury poisoning in India. It happened in 2001 and was finally settled in 2016. Also, thank you for the award. That really sucks because Unilever owns fucking everything. And Nestle own the rest. I've heard bad things about Susan G. Komen. That's an industry now, not a source of funding for cancer research. They don't give anything to research. It all goes to awareness. Fucking awareness always kills me. Who the fuck isn't aware of cancer at this point? It's kinda hard to miss. It's also the CEO can pay themselves a ton of money to stay non-profit. The National Football League sent a crooked doctor to testify before Congress and lie about football turning players' brains into mush. They destroyed the career of the researcher who discovered it. They threatened lawsuits against journals that published the research. They actively misled players about the danger. Yes, everybody knew you could get a concussion playing football but the league led players to believe it could be managed like any injury. Just get a couple weeks rest and it will heal. The league knew everyone causes permanent damage that never heals and lied to players about it. When ESPN co-produced a documentary about all this with PBS Frontline, the league forced them to disavow it and take their name off it or risk losing coverage excess. Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Are they the same company? So fucked cause they own all the big venues as well. Ten years ago got great seats to every show. Now this fucking waiting room is BS. They don't own the venues. They just make them sign exclusivity contracts. Even if you go to the box office. They're still on Ticketmaster's website. Also, let's not forget the time that they lost that huge class action lawsuit for their bullshit fees then made it extremely difficult for any of the recipients to use the vouchers they were given. They literally had the guides and how to find them on TM's website and they extremely limited in use. I think I never used one of mine. Nestle, the CEO has stated water isn't a human right and has a lobby to push legislature to make that a reality, thankfully to no success yet. They literally killed babies with their formula bullshit in Africa. College board. And paying for electronically, sending your SAT scores to each college are like $20 when you can do it for free. Wells Fargo. This needs to be higher. I can't believe anyone is still doing business with Wells Fargo, Comcast and all of the other telecommunication companies. Top 5 evil companies honestly. I don't think the US is aware how much we hold ourselves back pretending telecommunications infrastructure is a remotely fair market. Nestle Nestle are responsible for the deaths of thousands of African babies. 
It was a lengthy process meticulously engineered and designed to rid the African mothers of their money by getting their babies dependent on the better quality synthesized milks. Over time, the company ramped the prices up until not only the bank accounts were dry, but so were the breasts. Fuck you, Nestle. Edit. Spelling. Ah uh, yes. The company whose CEO didn't consider access to water to be a human right. I actively avoid Nestle and feel horrible when I accidentally buy one of their many products. Autism Speaks. Edit. Holy Christ this comment blew up fast. Why? Nestle for obvious reasons. The largest purchaser of glitter. Whoever the fuck they are. Why don't you quit hiding behind non-disclosure agreements and security clearances? Pussies. Didn't the whole mysterious bulk buyer of glitter turn out to be a boat builder? Yes. It's used in the paint that they use in boats. Union Carbide. One night. A pesticide plant in India leaked methyl isocyanate on the city of Bhopal. 500,000 were exposed, 16,000 died, and 40,000 were permanently disfigured or disabled. They spent years trying to cover it up and get out of any responsibility. My friend Mo was poisoned in utero by that when his parents were visiting their parents in India. His mom died of cancer the year he graduated and he died of complications from his various disabilities and birth defects three years ago. He had one of the most brilliant minds and a fantastic sense of humor. Fuck Union Carbide. Edit. God damn it. I'll fix the syntax. Graduated from cancer. Y'all told the same joke 23 times. The pyramid schemes. I am a business owner you should have taken my job offer now you're locked in because corona and no. Money he he he. R and Timlum. Basically any fast fashion brand H&M, F21 etc. Oh buddy, the shit I could tell you. I currently work for a major fashion retailer. Asterisk their clothes are made in the same sweatshops as the cheap brand. Literally the only difference is the brand label that gets sewn in and the price they're sold at. Asterisk the warehouses and stockrooms are full of fleas and rats. Asterisk workers are paid below minimum wage, then topped up with bonuses that are kept out of reach. Get less than minimum required breaks and do not get statutory sick pay. And yes, this is illegal as fuck. That's just the tip of the shitberg. Fashion companies work sweatshops in US territories like Saipan, so they can put made in USA on the labels. But the territories don't follow US labor laws. Then they import workers from places like Indonesia and Malaysia. Fucking banana companies. Seriously look up their history they would topple entire governments just to be able to pay workers. Like garbage and sell the bananas to the states. Amway. They're a MLM company that preys on the ignorance of poor people. The DeVos family became billionaires of what is essentially a pyramid scheme. Doof and Schmerz Evil Inc. To be fair, he had a hard life. De Beers in their blood diamond. Child slavery cartel. Diamonds aren't even rare. They just keep a hold on the supply to make us think so. This one isn't talked a lot but companies that make insulin. Some countries have free healthcare you can buy it for really cheap prices but what is vital for some people to literally not to die or become permanently disabled or go into a coma costs around four dollars to make and it's sold for 178 dollars per vial in america like i'd get if you even sell it for 20 dollars or hell even 50 dollars but this is just insane it's just monopoly there are only three companies in the world that produce them which means they can set any price they what and people will still buy a BC we're using your need for health to make money so you'll buy it whatever the cost edit whoa thanks for the awards yes x1000 my wife is a diabetic and has do some research about the companies they avoid having the drug go generic by changing one tiny thing and say it's a new formula we haven't paid $178 but we did have to pay $145 every 10 days and this was on Medicare. After you pay a certain amount, the donut hole, 
you are classified differently and then the price was $28 for the same thing stuff. This comment degenerated fast. Us. They're responsible for certifying lots of cocoa farms, especially in Ivory Coast, that abuse West African children in hazardous, grueling labor and let farms continue in nationally protected forests. They put the certified label on imported chocolate to your country when the certified chocolate actually did use child labor swept under the rug. Edit. Uts certified not Uts snacks. Facebook. I stopped using Facebook over five years ago but never actually deleted my account. I tried doing so a few months ago and they want a government-issued ID, passport or driver's license. In order to unlock my account and delete it, I work in insurance. I know firsthand how much info I can pull off people with just a driver's license number and dog. There's no way I'm giving that to Mark Zuckerberg. College Board Nonprofit my ass. $35 shipping fee to send my SAT score to colleges when it's sent online. Why does it cost $50 to take an SAT? Why am I paying $200 for an AP exam? Fuck that shit. Straight up in monopoly running colleges in America. The best part about nonprofits is that there is no cap on pay for executives. So the executive can make 20 million a year and it still be a non-profit. Nestle, they said that water isn't a human right. Asterisk the one opinion, which I think is extreme, is represented by the NGOs. Who bang on about declaring water a public right? That means that as a human being you should have a right to water. That's an extreme solution. The other view says that water is a foodstuff like any other. And like any other foodstuff it should have a market value, asterisk. The quote if anyone's interested. He didn't exactly say it wasn't a human right but it was along the same lines. He said thinking water is a human right is extreme. DuPont. Knowingly poison the entire US with a chemical that stays in your body forever and causes health issues and birth defects. There's a whole movie about it called Dark Waters. I believe they're still fighting in court over it since it happened quite a while ago. It's worse than that. DuPont poisoned land and watersheds all over the US then essentially purposely bankrupted themselves so they could legally divest all the bad companies and lawsuits fines into spin-off companies with no assets so they couldn't afford to sow the cleanup remediation. The good parts they sold to Dow. Never mind all that inbred business. PETA. When I was first vegetarian I found PETA thinking PETA helped animals. After doing research I realized if PETA were to see any animal the first thing they will think about is killing it. PETA is the Autism Speaks of Animal Rights Activist Monsieur. Vera Bradley. Hello Sweatshop. Their factories are funneled full of refugees from Burna, Myanmar, Guatemala, Sierra Leone. They are drastically underpaid obviously, and stuck in these huge yet cramped sweatshops. Literal sweatshops. My boyfriend when I was in my 20s, he worked in factories through manpower or some such staffing agency. They placed him there for a few months. He learned that they keep the guards on short-term assignments. Probably so they can't get enough evidence to turn them in. It was fucked. He said they gave the workers these paper-feeling pajama things and slip-on cheap sandals. They weren't allowed to bring anything into the sweatshop. Not a bag or a phone. Not a lunchbox. They couldn't bring cell phones into the entire facility. My boyfriend was also held to the cell phone rule. He would have to call me from the parking lot before he went in. Because even he wasn't allowed to bring his phone into the building. He wasn't allowed to bring a lunch box either. It was bizarre. The folks were worked in near torture conditions. Like not being able to use the restroom. Not being able to leave the building during a shift. He said they would work for undetermined length shifts. He wasn't ever given much information about production. About internal affairs. He was just told to watch these crowded rooms. He was supposed to make sure people weren't talking to each other. They weren't allowed to take breaks. It is seriously fucked.
and this modern wage slavery happens in the United States. K-pop companies. What they put those women and men through can be cruel and excessive, oftentimes taking their profits and leaving them with debt. Edit. Thanks for the awards, etc. This is my highest upvoted ever. J-pop idols not being allowed to have significant others is incredibly disturbing. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.